two months, Laikipia Nature Conservancy has been in the spotlight for allegedly harboring illegal grazers and bandits. This has resulted to insecurity in the region that has seen at least 12 people killed, scores injured, and hundreds of livestock stolen. And as Mike Kagwongo now reports, the Conservancy Management now says that they have lost property worth 20 million shillings as a result. The government recently declared the Conservancy as a disturbed area and announced a security operation to be initiated to weed out illegal armed grazers and bandits who use the vast ranch as a hiding haven. Residents and a section of leaders have been pointing fingers at the Laikipia Nature Conservancy for failing to flush out the criminals who have caused mayhem to the neighboring communities. The leaders have also pushed the government to repossess the ranch and put it under the management of the Kenya Wildlife Service, KWS. However, the management of the conservancy has for the first time come out in the open, expressing the losses that they have incurred since the illegal grazers invaded the farm from Baringo. Isiolo and Samporo counties. And we've had our infrastructure burnt, we've had our ranger bases smashed, we've had a targeted, our businesses, our, our, our avocado project, our essential oil distillation machine has been smashed, we've had to extract as much as we can and bring it centrally to avoid it getting damaged. Over the last uh, few days up to, up to now, we've had a... Uh, 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 substantial uh, uh, reports of exits, especially with the with the with the permission by the government to allow few, uh, some of the herds to leave uh, the conservancy and be given safe passage back to their back to their uh, counties of origin. I think that is in public domain. The management says that the illegal grazers have destroyed half of the electric fence that surrounds the 88,000 acres of land situated in Laikipia West at the eastern edge of the Rift Valley. If it were only about pasture, then why do they have to come with guns? And why the destruction of property, infrastructure and lives. This has resulted to the animals living in the ranch moving out and destroying farmers' crops. The bandits have also burned other properties in the ranch, which include a school built to benefit local residents by the owners and avocado project that they had been distributing to local residents. We are also on this transit route as these men come through here and then go out to start burning schools and villages and 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 killing people senselessly and you question what you know what is what is the driver of that what is the root cause of that up to date land of hope academy which had 40 young children is yet to be reopened after parents withdrew their children from the learning institution. Uh, the kids have not been coming, but we have been having 40 kids who've been coming into school. Um, they come in the morning, we give them two meals in a day, and then they leave in the evening. Uh, we are a bit worried because they are not uh, attending school at the moment, and they are not coming to school. Despite the government's order to carry out an operation in the areas, over 10,000 herds of livestock are said to be roaming at the vast conservancy ranch. Residents who are displaced now say their lives have since changed, urging the government to intervene and help them out following the threat imposed by bandits' invasion. <laughs> Mana sisi tunajua wagwashe ni, ni kwetu na wana, wanasema wagwashe si kwetu. Ni nani hao ambao wanawafadhili hawa majangili? Tumeona magazeti, tumeona ikitaja watu fulani fulani, hata wengine ma inspector. Sasa tunashangaa kwani ni serikali inapiga serikali na ikiwa ni serikali kwa serikali inakuja kufanya nini kwetu? The conservancy is believed to have been purchased from a Kenyan company in 1972 with leases that still run for many decades. For TV, 47, I'm Mike. Kaguongo.